So for this sound sculpting session, number six, I'm going to be looking at yet another strong point of this very versatile little synth and Nymphes and Dread Box, uh, which is strange soundscapes and sound effects. Uh, I heard online that one of my musical heroes, Trent Reznor, is a fan of the Nymphes. Um, and I can see why. It's, it really lends itself to strange, brooding, industrial sounds uh, that have, you can really get a good a bit of expressive control over and kind of play um, live. Uh, and I made quite a few of those on my videos, uh, my previous demo video, Rituals Beneath the Stone, um, which seemed to get some interest. Uh, as to how I made those and one of those sounds is play that for ages just pretending I'm in some sci-fi rain ridden dystopian metropolis um, if that floats your boat which it does for me so as always I'm getting a bit repetitive here but I'm going to start with my default patch load shift 7 Shift off, sound seven, load. And we have an awful sawtooth sound. But it's, you know, a good starting point. Um, so for this kind of sound, we're obviously, as you may well be able to hear, going to use a lot of reverb. This is where the much misunderstood in my view nymphes reverb really comes into its own is these sort of sounds it just gives it so much atmosphere um and yeah the key with this is lots of use of the modulation the both lfos especially lfo2 being able to affect a bunch of parameters actually what my original sound on this, I, I used the ability via MIDI CC to control the reverb and make that change over time as well, which I can't seem to do from the front panel. Uh, if anyone knows how to do that, please let me know in the comments. But I'm going to do it first without that at all, so that you can copy on the front panel where, I, where we're at. And then at just at the end, I might demonstrate by sending some CCs as to how that sounds as well when you modulate the reverb, which I think can be really nice. Um, and I'd love to be able to do it from the front panel. So as I say, if you know how to, do do let me know. Um, now, this is going to be a poly sound, though you can have some cool unison versions as well. And it's going to have a sawtooth wave Um, I'm going to put a bit of pulse width on there just in case I do some pulse width modulation and a bit of glide shift glide as well just this sound is all about things sweeping and big long dynamic sweeps whatever you, however you can do that so glide helps with that as well LFO bang that right up just realised the volume is a bit down so it doesn't sound much like what we're going for yet but we'll get there 
level of the oscillators. Let's bump those both for right. Okay, maybe let's turn the volume down a bit. Noise. Well, if these sound effects often lots of noise is good, just gives that extra frequency range for the various things to bite onto. Okay, it still doesn't sound much like anything approaching what we're looking for. I think you'll agree. Now, those the sounds uh, the, the sounds that make it very much like bikes or or other things zooming past you spaceships or whatever um as long as you're not in space obviously you know you need an atmosphere for for sound transmission as we all know uh a lot of that will involve envelope pitch gener uh, modulation because that gives you that doppler effect the sweeping of pitch change that in the human mind makes you think of something fast going going past so let's we've got shift on we'll bump up the pitch modulation right up you're not going to hear it yet because we haven't done anything with with the filter slash pitch envelope um so filter wise let's start with the filters right down I think a lot of the movement here is going to be done by the modulation um, envelope up quite high again on 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 the filter and a fair bit of LFO 2 as well LFO 1 2 I should have say just to not be confused still not really looking like what we're going for that's because it's all in the envelopes really uh, so Tracking up high. Let's make this predictable across the keyboard. We want most of the things to track the keyboard with this, I think. Uh, well, let's see how we go. Now, the important bit that I was saying, envelopes. We want slow attacks for that swelling approach of this whatever it is that's coming at you um, with the amp and a bit of a decay and you can the envelopes will be where a lot of the creativity comes in as to how you exactly you want this sound to come out with with a lot of the effects you there's certain parameters where you can create a lot of different variations or completely different effects just by playing around with the envelopes or or other key parameters i'm going to have a long release this is going to be lots of long settings So it's already sounding more like it, even if quite a distant cousin. Um, right, filter envelope, this is going to be important because it also affects the pitch. Let's have similarly a pretty long attack, long decay, dropping down to a sustain about a third of the way up perhaps. And yeah, long release, lots of long releases in this business. So it's already a lot more recognisable. Already sounds sort of vaguely engine-like anyway. Um, right, but it's still still got quite some work to do. That's now now the pitch envelope is working you can hear it a lot better um, and actually have the decay longer and the attack longer it's sounding a bit quick Yeah, LFOs. Let's do let's do LFOs. So LFO one. I'm gonna go for a ramp because that is 
adding to that building up effect. And if we key sync it, then it's going to give us, um, yeah, nice long ramp if we set the set things right. Um, well, actually, well, let's see. So ramp. Actually, I'm going to pump up the rate fast. This is actually going to give like a sort of rattling engine like quality. I'm actually going to make that faster as well. And that's going to give that real like buzz of an engine. Um, and if we also make the delay quite high and make it fade over time as well, then we can just add that extra swell and drop that gives it that movement. So after a little while you get that kind of coming in that's almost like the motorbike coming really close to you and the spectral rider almost reaching out towards your terrified face if you will uh, in terms of well let's go to LFO2 then LFO2 menu 2 for LFO2 I think let's go for a saw wave with this one. Let's see what we can do with this. Uh, let's turn it up fast again. Let's press shift. Let's have a long delay again so it comes in gradually and that's just as I say with this sound it's all about things building up slowly and then dropping off to give you that soundscape um, and fade Again, I'm going to have it drop drop off after a while as well. So you've got that building up and then gradually dropping off with a lot of these parameters at different, slightly different speeds to give a sense of a complex real environment. Well, that could be the helicopters coming in if we leave it like that. Um, I haven't actually, I've just realized I haven't actually put anything in uh, to modulate with that. So that's not going to help. Let's see, what could we modulate with LFO2? I think, let's change the wave. Because we've got a, yeah, well, let's check, we're definitely on ramp. <laughs> Let's let's give it some pulse width modulation. This is just to give, yeah, it's quite fast. So it's again, it's it's almost sort of emulating this like rattling engine kind of noise, or or maybe the sound of the motorbike kind of being filtered through some railings or something like that. Um, I don't know. You can really explore these things, these soundscapes like this and make a million different variations and let your imagination run wild really uh, I love it it's a bit it's a bit dangerous because you kind of end up doing that for hours instead of actually making any music but you know um, let's bump the sub right up I think make it more yeah, give us some real like tremolo type effect. We're wanting a mixture of a swell and a drop, but also fast, rapid oscillations to give the idea of lots of mechanical stuff going on. Um, noise. Yeah, let's modulate the noise. This is bipolar. So in actual fact, where we've got the noise up to max, this will be um, making it drop down and go up. Uh, where are we at? And you can... Because it's a 
poly sound, you can get like a whole bunch of them going. Uh, and yeah, let's have a little bit of low pass, bump up the high pass a fair bit. Filter tracking, why not? As I say, there's a bit of, you know, it's good to have in your head like intentions as to think, right, what will this do? But also a bit of experimentation and jamming about can often lead to unexpected results. So a mixture is what you want. Actually going to make the LFOs faster so shift menu when we're still in menu two and let's make them let's push them up to you can see the LEDs going fast there if you if it's around that kind of setting and we want them want them key synced as well uh, that's LFO one's extra settings now shift I'm going to do similar for LFO two yep so you see it's solid great uh, let's see what that's like that's giving more like a buzz so if you have the lower settings you can get more of like that really audible oscillation of we can distinguish the oscillations and if you turn it up to fast it's more of a growl so it's, you know, it's different different variations you can have it sounds like it's a lot longer decay on the amp envelopes I might look at that because you can still hear that kind of noise afterwards what happens if we go up to track I'm, int I'm, I'm intrigued by as well to track the keyboard let's see Sounds pretty cool. Again, that's something else you could do. I'm actually going to put it back to fast mode. I might have one on fast, one on slower. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's turn the release down a bit on the uh, amp envelope, let's see. Hmm, I don't know what that... strange extra sound is, but... look into it I'll ignore that for now but in yeah basically this sound is really going to come to life with reverb um, quite a bit I think let's get maximum reverb 
quite high filter. This is where the ringing and metallic side of the uh, reverb can really be lent into because it just gives a really unique atmosphere for this kind of dark brooding world. Um, yeah, that's quite big size, lots of decay, filter up quite open and max. Let's see what that's like. that you can really play with that kind of thing for hours if you're like me i might be a bit odd but um so where we're at now yeah i think i might put the release back up a bit for the envelopes Let's see <laughs> What happens if you turn it into a unison sound just out of interest? Menu one, menu again, two. Turn it down a bit. So that can be quite cool as well. Uh, but I'm going to turn it back to poly. Or you could put it on try for a bit of that unison stuff going on, but Easily add some mod wheel. Again, often nice just to play with things like a lot of this stuff's already up high, but you could maybe um, you could, for example, mess with the glide, make it more glidey, and add to the detune play with the cut high pass all the usual kind of stuff really um maybe you could, I'd be interested to know what chord mode does on this. Hmm. Interesting, not necessarily what I'd expect, does something. Uh, let's go to velocity. I think we could play with the envelopes of velocity so the harder you do it, maybe it changes the envelopes a bit, perhaps. And adds a bit of resonance, why not? Makes the, yeah. Let's see.
now as I say, on my original playing around with this sound, I added some reverb modulation as well, um, which I can do via MIDI CC. So I'm just going to do that just to see if that is uh, helpful. I'm going to add. I'm going to add an um, some. Oh, I've just realised I'm in the mod wheel. I want to be in LFO two. It's LFO two that I'm going to have affect the modulation. Reverb size. So I've got my modulations up about half for the reverb size and the reverb decay. And about a third for the reverb filter. And about a quarter of the way up for the reverb mix. And let's see, it's subtle, but I think it just adds movement to the reverb as well and just makes it less flat. enjoy that it makes my the real world seem fairly vanilla by comparison uh, despite it being a total SHIT show um, so maybe that's why I enjoy all these dark brooding soundscapes uh, yeah so I think that's probably a good place to finish have fun <laughs>